My name is Nerima Wako Ojiwa. So I'm the executive director of Siasa Place. And I see a lot of faces that are very familiar. And so it's good to see you guys. Um, so Siasa Place, I think Ken has already mentioned what we do. I'm not sure you haven't. OK, I've just come. I was at another function for youth. And so I had to leave to come here. Uh, but Siasa Place, we are an NGO formed in 2015. And we engage youth mainly on governance participation, public participation, and inclusion. And so that's how we are here. So a lot of the emails have been coming from my team. And so they are also still running around. Miriam, Grace, Ken is here, and Patrick as well. And so you'll be seeing us more often. So for me, my job this morning is just to give a brief uh, context of why you are here. Um, all of you are doing amazing work in your countries, but not all of you are in the same spaces. Some of you are in human trafficking, some of you are in environment, some of you are in democracy and electoral processes, but all of you engage young people one way or another, which is our main interest. And the reason why we are hosting this meeting technically is to have a conversation with young activists with young people, social justice centers, who are the core when it comes to change in our countries. As you can see, the workshop is called Building Abnormal Responses to Abnormal Democracies. So you'd wonder why the word abnormal. Um, when we look at our continent at the moment right now, there are a lot of shifts that are happening. Some we are seeing them being used with the law. And so some of them we're even seeing in terms of internet shutdowns and also in terms of countries using mechanisms that have an aspect of social media and technology. So movements are changing, but what does that change look like? We have some people in this room who use rap music, who use music. And so there are different forms when it comes to social movements and change. So for me, it would be interesting to one, learn. Learn from each and every one of you. Hopefully, we can build a network out of that. We don't even know what this will become of. And so it's to say that you're free to share your ideas and opinions. Uh, nobody is right and nobody is wrong. And that's the freedom of this space at this moment right now. So for me, it would just to say, I hope that you enjoy your short stay and also to know that it's going to be different. It's not your typical workshop conference, and I hope that you see that. And we're hoping to also receive feedback from you at the end of it, and perhaps tomorrow, even with the visits that you will have at the social justice centers, we hope that you gain something. Because I've attended too many conferences, and I feel like I have left the same. And I hope that this won't be the same for you. So looking forward to your feedback, looking forward to knowing if there are things that we could improve or change, and looking forward to hearing what you've learned throughout the process, not just about different countries, but about different people. And yes, just to sum it up is to, I look forward to engaging with you over the next few days. I'm so happy to see you all. It's so stressful <laughs> bringing people from different countries. But to see you all arrive safely for me is such a joy, really. So I hope I can talk to each and every one of you. Uh, please bombard me if you have any questions and if you want to also learn more about CSF Place. So again, welcome.